After a filling breakfast of absolutely everything, we bid farewell to Takayama and headed on to Hiroshima. Happy birthday to you! Hooray! These weird yellow lines are actually for blind people. They are everywhere, even right up to the edge of the train platforms. Once we arrived in Hiroshima, we ditched our luggage at our very nice hotel. We then made our way to Hiroshima Station and caught another train to take us to Miyajima Island. is among Japan's top three scenic sites, famous for its mountaintop views and floating shrine, which is a world heritage site. Like most of Japan, Miyajima was once a volcano. To get to the island is about a 26 minute journey from Hiroshima Station on the JR line. Then you can jump on a ferry to take you across the water. The ferry ride to the island takes about 10 minutes and ferries come roughly every 15 minutes during the day. was stunning. Although it was cold and very very windy on the top deck, it was totally worth it for the views and seeing the floating Torrey Gate creep closer as the city slowly drifted out of sight. Although the island has a population of only 2,000 people, it welcomes 4 million visitors per year. Deer wander freely through the streets and harass tourists for food. While somewhat more restrained than the deer in Nara, they're still eager for a handout. Feeding them is a surefire way of getting the deer to stalk you and chew at your belongings or shirt. Hello, please don't eat me. You look pretty chill, your leg looks a bit broken though. Hello? Look at that deer. Don't wait for an invitation. This life is an exploration <laughs> and you gotta see what I see <laughs> in you. I can't wait to see shrine was built at the end of the 6th century. It is believed that the island itself is a goddess. And that is why its Yukushima shrine is built in the water and not on the island itself. The vermilion colour of the shrine and the otori is considered to keep evil spirits away. between the spirit world and the human world. At nearly 17 metres high, it is a sight to behold. The main pillar is approximately 500 to 600 years old and is resistant to rotting. It took nearly 20 years to find the right tree for the job. The base of the Great Tory is not buried deep in the seabed but stands by its own weight. The box shape upper part of the gate is filled with nearly 7 tonnes of stone each as big as a human fist. Coins are left 
as wishes, wedged into the cracks of the many layers of paint. While the majority were Japanese yen, you can find coins from all over the world. There's a map that's washed to show. Jima was absolutely beautiful. It's easy to see why it's such a popular spot. While we only had time to visit the shrine and the gate, there are plenty of other things to do on the island. Shopping, restaurants and accommodation. I know if we had the chance to look around the souvenir shops more, I definitely would have come home with a dear plushie. Hi Kristen. To Neo Jima, we have the Dia and Tori Gate. Welcome to Neo Jima, we have the oyster. It sure tastes great. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs>